Hello, wonderful people of places. My name is Light Death, and this is my silly YouTube channel. And today we are continuing our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play. Now, I did record some stuff that wasn't caught. Let me make sure I'm recording right now. Uh, which was just Hagrid saying, you gotta get a magical pet, and having a weird vision of some ice. And that was it. Uh, if you do not like my Let's Plays for whatever reason, because I'm an unreliable narrator, uh, that's totally valid and shit. Uh, there are other people who have Let's Played this game. So I am not a perfect person. I will be subtitling all my Let's Plays eventually. It's just taking some time. By the time the series is over, they should all be subtitled. So yeah, let's meet with Rowan. Some kind of weird thing. I don't I don't know all the details. Again, once again, by watching these Let's Plays, you are supporting a currently identifying as trans creator. Uh, and there's a lot of people who play this who like her transphobia. So I'm in the Great Hall with the Dueling Book. We should get it to it now. Great Hall. I actually had to wait like an hour in game <laughs> to get this done. So uh, let's see. This is the cool Hogwarts home. If my voice sounds different today, that is because I am a little bit sick. All right, let's see. Do do do. Up oh, here you are, Rowan. Slytherins. Those are some Ravenclaws in the background. If you haven't found Rowan, your secret dungeon help us with our perfect prefect requirements. It has some ideas about- I've stopped doing the English accents because people have noted to me, your accents are garbage, and they're correct. I can do Northwest Wales. Can't do much beyond Northwest Wales, unfortunately. This was my accent in a past life. I don't know where it's from. It's a little more posh than I like. Uh, I can do this accent because past life shit, but it also sounds unreliable. Don't know where that's from. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I don't actually know where that accent's from, I just know I had it in past life. What about Marilla? Once I'm at a duel, I'll pull her off. No, it's about what happened in the artifact room. More visions or voices since we left? No, I would tell someone, but with Marilla going... about my brother, people already think I'm mad. Why don't we postpone learning how to duel? Uh, the hospital wing. I'll end up in the hospital wing if I can't defend myself against Marilla. I'm still gonna give her an accent because she doesn't deserve respect. The voice and voices trouble me too, Rowan. Oh yeah, he had a Voldemort vision. Um, I missed it on camera. I'm afraid you have to convince me. Clickety click. Start. I'm worried that you're unwell. Was it'd be great fun. We have to start Marula. You lost points because your courage level is low. God fucking damn it. That's nothing like IRL. Uh, do you trust the prefect's help? Uh, obviously. As our prefect wants to help. You just about have me convinced. Then why are you holding back? Ask me. I keep picking all the right ones. Uh, do you fear... Do you fear you've gone mad? Mad means something different in English than in America. That is totally perfect. We're stronger together. You get an empathy bonus. All right, I'll convince. Woo! Micah Abend is in the chat. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Uh, so if you're going to learn how to properly duel, there's something you should know. What is it? The book has lists of strategies and tables, not very instructional. Some people really do dislike my Let's Plays, but every Let's Play I've ever met seems to enjoy them. So that's a fun little fact. Uh, if you're just watching because you're a fan of mine and you don't like Let's Plays, you don't have to watch this. But uh, I'm working really hard to make sure you are somewhat entertained while not putting on a facade like uh, <coughs> other Let's Players I can mention. And there may be no time to learn everything before you'll duel with Murla. Which of our prefix requirements do you think is most important? Creative advantage. The basics work against Marula. A creative advantage will be most important to defeating her. I like your confidence, Adamith. Because that's not on the nose. Uh, I need to research creative advantages. Uh, Flitwick was a champion duelist. Perhaps he could give me some tips. Thank you for your help, Rowan. I have to find Chadwick. 
meet with Rowan. I like that these things are here. I look forward to learning how I can help. Meet me in the courtyard. I like I like having the ha the game handhold me. One because Harry Potter originally got darker as the books progressed was for children. Also because this game is kind of aimed at children. It's obvious. Secondly, because I'm an idiot and the game is so expansive, I will not pick up on where I need to go unless it holds my hand. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate frog, chocolate frog, chocolate frog. Who's that? Clickety click. Magneta Comstock. Experimental artist whose porches eyes follow the viewer. Cool. Courtyard. Learn with Flitwick. Play gobstones. Why is that always an option? What's the with Flitwick? I don't care about gobstones. Gobstones, gobstones, gobstones. Thank you for meeting me with me, Professor. What can I do for you? Professor, is it true that you were a dueling champion when you before you taught at Hogwarts? It's true. So Fafe and Protego were the best of them, full of trophies to boot. Do you think you could teach me? Mm -hmm. Hogwarts curriculum lessons. My name is Mr. Forster. I need some advanced instructions. Mm -hmm. Hmm, tell me, why do you want to do dueling looks fun? Dueling looks fun if you know how to do so correctly in the correct way. Dueling is about skill and self-defense. Teach me an offensive spell, Professor, please. I'd like to know what's important. I was afraid things might be difficult for you here at Hogwarts, given your brother's reputation. I will teach you one spell, the most essential. And I'm not going to name that. It was intended to disarm your opponent without any injury. Alrighty. Start one hour. Listen. I look so much taller than him. <laughs> That's a microaggression. I am really sorry. Breast. Understand. I love the wand I picked out. Or I got. Whoa! Learned Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Collect unusable and dueling at Hogwarts. I got the hang of it. Now let's see you cast a charm on me. On you. Oh. Now. Expelliarmus. Woot woot. Woot woot. Woot woot. Ah, that's cool. His arm just kind of fell out of his hand. It's so cool if you like Hogwarts or Harry Potter universe and you know all about it. It's probably like, oh my god, this guy's an idiot. But I'm just really insecure this week. Promise me that one day you'll only duel if you have no other choice, Mr. Forster. I promise I'll duel if I have no oh. choice. God, I can't believe you have great potential. I'd ruin it by breaking oh. school rules. Dueling is not allowed on school grounds without mm. something. If you use a spell for anything self defense, I will recommend your expulsion. I understand. Thank you for your help, Professor. Now, Rowan Kana is expecting me. Come to the training grounds. I have a creative move to teach you. Alrighty. So yeah, I think IRL, if Hogwarts temporarily was real and I were to somehow become a teenager again and take those classes, I would choose to be a Slytherin just because I want to be with Morgan if I ever meet him again. And Morgan is a Slytherin. I'm probably a Hufflepuff or a Gryffindor. I don't actually know. I've never been able to decide on a house. I'm like, you know that quote from my immortal? I was so much of a Slytherin and so much of a Gryffindor. They just put me in both by Ebony Darkness to Mitchie Ravenway. I'd probably be a Gryffindor. I really think that's my house. Everyone's like, you're such a Hufflepuff, Adam. And I'm like, I'm really not. I do value friends over everything. But one, I do not have them. And two, even if I did have them, uh, people keep leaving me. So I... I, I don't know. I just I don't think Hufflepuff fits me. Everyone thinks Hufflepuff fits me, but it doesn't. And I've read analysis after analysis because this matters to me for some apparent reason. And Gryffindor fits me the fucking best. But uh, I choose to go with Morgan if I ever do end up breaking reality again and visiting an alternate reality where Harper's is real. Uh, it's weird. It's weird talking about Morgan. We're not friends anymore. But. Uh, Astral projection is a bitch, and I've met some of his alters, and his alters are dicks, especially Luna. But I miss him. I guess I guess that's an answer. I really miss him. I wish 
he didn't have the issues he does that prevent him from being my friend. But I guess that's what you get when you're in a condition like mine, when you have my specific role in life. Nobody ever wants to stay. I mean, I could literally have tried something awful and I doubt he would have even gave a shit. Oh well. You lose people sometimes. <laughs> you lose people. That's all. Brilliant. You remember having a creative idea and advantage is the top priority. We did, Fitwick Teach. Expelliarmus, the disarming. Oh, and you have a private lesson. I'm jealous. But Fitwick made it clear dueling without permission is prohibited at school grounds. I promised him I would only duel if I had to. I have done the same, Ademith, though I suppose without the expulsion. Fitwick did say expulsion was a punishment, but there's no time to fret now. What's the creative thing you found? The tickling charm. God fucking damn it. Mirla would never expect that. Tickling can actually be painful and abusive if you know how to use it right. If she dares you, you'll have to laugh or to debate. Let me teach you what I learned. Once the charm is cast. I bet the gameplay differs quite heavily here, but I guess it's important that we know how to do this. Listen, 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 listen. I guess what you click on also kind of matters. Look around, look around, look around. Out of energy. One point in church is every 15 minutes. Guess we're watching an ad. I'll be back in a second. All right, I watched it. Now I have three energy. There we are. Ads suck ass. I hate ads. If I ever do an ad read, I really care about that damn product. Collect. I think you've learned the tickling charm. Only you. You don't get to get a laugh out of training dummies. Nobody tell you you've learned it. What's holding you back from testing the spell? Nothing. I knew that would give me courage. I fucking knew that would give me courage. I think it's a brilliant idea, Rowan. Oh, I hadn't expected that level. Alright, brace yourself for the intense tickling. Alright. Oh, shit. It's not gonna go well. My, my mouse was messing up. That one was harder to do. Some ah, ha, 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 I can't stop laughing. Take a look at this. It looks like you might even be having. Not exactly. I can't stop. I'm sorry, Rowan. Counter spell. <laughs> it's teaching us. A healing potion. Potion class begins now. I suspect you will someday ruin my day. Potions class. I actually did attend real life Hogwarts. I will list that video in the pinned comment and in the description. It was called Blackwood Academy. I was very omitting about it I got ex I nearly got expelled I don't know I flunked out I failed all my classes <laughs> because of my executive dysfunction I mean yeah you get to go to fucking online Hogwarts and I was sorted into Hufflepuff and or what their version of Hufflepuff was like they make great healers and I was like you'd be a great doctor someday I'm like me a doctor hilarious ha 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 our prefect will teach me to do a healing method with Expelliarmus and Rizuka that's left is Wicked Potion. I have a potion with Dueling Marilla to replenish my stamina and even heal my energies. I'm quite excited to learn how to brew them. How did you convince Snape to make it? My plan was to plead that I'm such a klutz I couldn't go without it. Snape is totally used dropping videos. Great thinking, Rowan. But I learned to plan at the request of Marilla's knives. So Marilla had been planning to use Winged Potion Dueling too. Will I be interrupting your useless chatter, Mr. Froster? Sorry, is it true that learning how to brew today, Mr. Snape? It is, when you inevitably brew it correctly, listening to another Westless. I heard can be dangerous. Should you be breaking school rules by dueling, you'd be happy to facilitate your expulsion. Now take your seats and try to learn. That's my impression of Snape. It's a, I, I'm not good at voice acting him. Today you will learn to Wigan and Potion, one of my most promising students. It is a powerful healing potion that can be used to heal the effects of sleeping drought, especially with sloth. Yeah, Froster. Oh my god, why is she sitting next to me? I bet no matter what house you pick, she is always going to be in Slytherin. There is no way. 
given the villainization of that house in these damn books. Clickety click. So like, it's not that I, I don't like calling myself a witch IRL because if you actually look at certain systems, witchcraft, wizardry, occultism, it's all very different stuff. And I'm not talking about just etymology. Etymology is um, actually the study of uh, words and stuff and how that affects everything. However, uh, with it, this kind of stuff is cool. I don't know what house cup is. I'll just click that next, I promise. Wait, right, do my potion looks... It appears to be possible. Mr. Snide's concoction, however. Thank you, Professor Snape. What do you have to say about that, Frosta? Trying to raise my, uh, my, my bravery. Why is it only possible? My potion is just as good as a few other potions, Frosta. Perhaps I should be. I would take house poison as own, but I need a far more painful punishment. I didn't mean to question him like that. Yes, a Snape recognizes perfection when he sees it, and you are far from perfect. Mm -hmm. But we won't settle in class. Perhaps we'll settle in the courtyard. Why won't she leave me alone? What is that? I'm really not officially challenging you to do it. Certainly wasn't a party invitation. And that we all have what we need, we need to find a prefect and learn how to properly do. The sooner I can deal with Miller Snape, the better. The sooner we can investigate the voices and the vision and the artifact. I was going to say the sooner you get back to finding the cursed rolls. I'm starting to look like many Hogwarts puzzles to solve. Make the hardest task look easy. Correct. Chapter 5 The Duel. With an arsenal of smells and potions at your disposal, you now prepare for the inevitable rematch with Marilla Snide. Let's see what you've learned. I just, before I go there, I just want to see what else I can study and shit. Uh, that's kind of important to me, studying and shit. Who's that bitch? Wendelin the Weird. Ooh, I love her. An exception witch famous for being burnt at the stake in various disguises. Collect. Clickety-click. Training grounds. Clickety-click. So yeah, uh, I do acknowledge the transphobia. I will stop acknowledging it at some point in uh, the Let's Play. I don't think JK is going to be transphobic forever because I can smell it on people. That's a Cupid reference. Uh, but, you know, as of right now, there are certain issues with how she does her brand. And so I just want to be very upfront and clear with you. I am a trans demi boy or something. I don't know. I identify as a guy, but there's something else to it. And I am a male person but I'm trans adjacent and if you aren't okay with that, there are other let's plays of this game you can watch and if you are okay with that or you have issues with that but you support me and my content, thank you for sticking around. Um, there will always be issues. Like let's say there was an Enders game, video game. I would personally not have an issue with playing it given all the things are done correctly. There are trans charities and resources in the description of every let's play of anything Harry Potter I do. So just keep that in mind. I'm missing Momocon for this let's play. I can't go. My ex friends are there. As I learned these two spells, the Tickling Charm is a creative strategy. Tickling Charm, I'm impressed. And for healing, to brew something. Now will you teach me how to do use what I've learned and teach me to do? Of course, but the best way to both of you is to tell each other. I don't want to hurt Rowan. I don't want to get hurt, I've audibly. I don't either you to get hurt, but it could happen. Now learn how to do it. Let's get started. I like him. He's a good bean. Sneaky. It's red. Woo! Your aggressive stance beats your opponent's sneaky stance, so you can cast a spell first. Let's do this. This is way more important. Um, so, yeah. After this, I'm going to be playing Zimbo Land, which uh, is a very interesting game. Uh, a tickling charm. Why am I not surprised? I won again! <laughs> I could even teach here. <laughs> I 
healing for two turns. Woot woot. Uh, let's do defensive, though Sneaky would beat me. Yep, Sneaky bought me. Uh, your opponent, Sneaky Stance, beats yours. I actually feel physical pain when I'm tickled. This one is what I need, even though I would love to use a healing potion right now. You gotta plan these things out strategically. You have no choice. And after this, I think I'll end the let's play here. I know it's shorter than the other ones. Let me check how long we've been playing. Does not tell me. I love that it does not tell me. Uh, Wigan wield potion, even though the defensive would be smarter here. I should be healing myself, even though I have more health left. Did I ever tell you about the time I let some kids into the dark forest and they died? It was great. Still, I got expelled in a phoenix spell. Woo! I'm just kidding. I'm referencing jokes my friend group knows about. My friend group calls themselves Muse. Uh, we are a group of idiots. It's wonderful. I love being a real life witch. <laughs> no matter the game I'm playing. Are you alright, Roman? I'm fine, I miss. I'll be happy to do my undo. Also, if you have your third eye open and you watch this let's play, things are about to get weird. That's my Erdan and Porter impression. Return to Felix. Bet you thought you knew what would happen in the courtyard. Wait and see. Now I have to wait an hour before I can get going. I guess that's to incentivize you to play other games, but it's also a thing with certain, uh, I did not have enough candies or anything for that. Side quests, grasslands. Yeah, I did meet with Hagrid off camera. Um, Hagrid, sorry, off camera. And so now I'm just gonna check with that, see what he needs. He's actually one of my favorite characters, but from what I understand via pop culture magic. So pop culture magic is, magic based on fiction it is known in a lot of old cultures as blowing cubes skipping stones bleeding ink mesmerized mirrors it's the idea of bringing thoughts to life so if you want to work with hogwarts characters and learn hogwarts magic technically speaking by magical law and how it works you totally can and i've met a few hogwarts characters they're all pretty nice newt's a weirdo i love him but he's a weirdo uh and hagrid i I get the impression the real one wouldn't like me, but I do like that he's nice to me here, so I'm gonna keep playing. I'm a crazy lunatic, haven't you caught on? What is it, Hagrid? There's a lot of magical creatures that need to be taken care of. With your help, we can learn about them, and happy and trained, well trained. Ooh, that thing's alive. Did you know trees IRL can hear, think, and feel? Adopt this creature, it's a niffler. In real life, Nifflers. There are Fae that look like that, but they're not Nifflers. I don't think that's the term for them. Um, which is interesting. I like to see JK Rowling's spin on these sorts of things. Um, um, however, I actually do have knowledge of real life magical things. And so the power of thought in pop culture magic is very important. Um, it can, your interpretation of a character can affect the presentation of that character. So let's say you imagine Harry is secretly a blonde. Harry, if you do do pop culture magic and you do summon Harry and you do work with him, or you work it into a script via reality shifting, since I know a lot of reality shifters follow me for some butterfly-ish reason, um, then in general, Harry may facture that into his appearance when he appears to you. If you can be thought of, it can be worked with. And I'm talking beyond egregores, which an egregore is a spirit based off someone's idea. Uh, so an egregore is the idea of something brought to life through magic, which is fine. Most people assume that's what pop culture magic is. That is not what pop culture magic is. And anything can be worked with. And headcanon and general group consensus is worked into real spirituality, real spirits, as well as those of thought form. So technically speaking, if you want to go to Harry Potter, I suggest reality shifting for that. But if you want to go to Harry Potter, you can go to Harry Potter. And if you want to learn, you'll probably need to buy a wooden wand. It has to be wood. It can't be plastic. I can't get into why right now. 
um, you could buy a wooden wand and you could learn Harry Potter spells and you would spiritually see the spells activating and sometimes even physically manifest. The thing about magic is anything could be physically manifested. However, not everyone believes that. So some people think that they are oh so special. Oh, they can do a money jar to get rich. Oh, they can curse their enemy to die. But uh, someone fucking flying through a levitation spell? Oh, no, 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 they're the only special one. Only they can make magic work. And like some people really do have that opinion and elitism when they go into magic. You think you're so fucking special. You think you're the chosen one. You think you are so damn fucking perfect that only your magic works. No, people can do spells to make the reality and their world change. And if you don't fucking believe that, if you think it's only like a push, then you're either blind, an idiot, dumb, stupid, naive to your own detriment. Think you're a special, special little snowflake. And I say that with my last name being Snowflake as a pun. Or, you know, you are not the fucking only one who could do magic. And if you are so as naive as to think that magic cannot manifest in the physical world, that gods cannot manifest in the physical world, that there isn't an ounce of literalism to these stories and enchantments and folklore, then you are, how fucking dare you call yourself a witch? Seriously. I get it. Wicca's all love and light. Not every fucking religion is Wicca. And it pisses me off. And that's why I made my Defense Against the Dark Art series. I wanted that position in that story. It was a role play uh, because it was cursed. And I thought I needed a cursed position. Phoenix spells, am I right? That is a joke. I will link that, let's, that video series I did in the description. It is not subtitled. It is very unfortunate that it is not subtitled. But altogether, it's almost an hour. It's a Harry Potter role play. If you like to role play with people, see like ASMR. It's not ASMR, but you would enjoy that series of mine. My channel that it's on, I've done divination, will eventually be taken down. However, feel free to mirror that video so that it will always stay on the internet. I'm fine with people mirroring my content. If this Let's Play channel ever gets taken down, feel free to re-upload this video and re-upload all my other Let's Plays or make compilations or cut out moments and like put it together. I like it when people reuse, remix, and build upon my content. So yeah, you can work with anything. If it can be thought of, it can be mythologized. So if you fucking make an OC who that is the doctor with red hair, you can fucking work with that OC. You just need to have something of a foundation to build upon it, usually, especially if you're inexperienced with this form of magic. So let's say you make up your own Doctor Who knockoff. You just have to write a story or have some kind of code or have the rules of that world established. I really suggest a story or a script or something, and then it will mythologize into actual magical work you can build upon. The doctor taught me to time travel. Let's not get into it. I like to meet a magical creature. I'm hoping you'd say that some of these creatures are dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah. In my opinion regarding magical creatures and how they work, it is a little bigoted to think all fae are evil. It's a little bigoted to think all nymphs are evil or all muses are good. These things can be benevolent or malevolent by their nature because they are forces of power as well as actual uh, beings with their own thought in mind. But think of it this way. What if someone thought all humans were evil? That's a little speciesist, right? But if all their stories are of humans hurting them, that's what they're going to fucking think. And there are some weird undertones to this metaphor. Um, but like, not every human is bad. You can judge the humanity as a fucking species, but the fact of the matter is... Uh, that humans are generally not all bad and not all good and you should apply that to magical workings but if all the stories have a code of conduct where this spirit will always try to kill you these species will always try to hurt you those uh, perceptions are in place for a mandatory sort of uh, observational reason it doesn't mean it's only true you can have a good experience with a Wendy boy you can have a good experience with a skinwalker but those negative connotations do follow them as a perception for a reason but i do not think there's such thing as an evil species i do not think there is such thing as a benevolent species i do not think there is such a thing as blank 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 so that's my opinion on that and um my ex-boyfriend from the future swears hogwarts is real it is not real to my knowledge and then that's the story i'm going with now some more hurting the cursed uh besides once you spend as much time caring for these creatures was with this niffler it is a baby and animals, some animals do like baby being pox, some don't. I can actually speak to animals, and that sounds crazy as shit. But I'm a witch, and I learned. And Barbados complimented the fact that I could do it. And he knows his shit with that. So, yeah. Uh, I can speak to animals. So, I can't speak to one in a video game, unless I do some weird kind of magical ritual on this video. Or on the game. 
But I can speak to animals, and some animals really fucking hate being baby talked. I think you're put in the build to trust to be very rewarding. I'm ready, Hagrid. Then go on, Adamus. The world of magical creatures are waiting for us. Quest complete. Caring for magical creatures. Uh, I do not have enough money for this kitty cat. I want the kitty cat. Let's stop Marula. Oh, I can't do that for another hour. Well, uh, let's see. Wingardium Leviosa. I have a class to attend. Woo! If I actually got to go to school again, I'd be so fucking happy. I'd be so happy. For all you know, I could be immortally 16. That's another joke. I like to do premieres with this, and my friends always watch them, so I'm making a lot of in-jokes so my friends catch on. I know I said I didn't have friends like three seconds ago. I do have friends. I just don't have many in person. I have a lot of friends. I do have Cameron and Gianna in person, but most of my friends are MAA. My old friend group gave up on me, and it was... It was really heartbreaking. They said, I read the stupid horoscope that was put on my sign via divination, a sign from, I think... Uh, some deity and it was a sign even though I don't do horoscopes because I find them to be bullocks because you have to tune into your reader base then you have to draw upon certain planetary hours and most horoscope breakers don't fucking do that um, anyways uh, the horoscope said uh, 2019 or 2017 something like that was the year you find out who is really there for you who really deserves you and I looked at everyone I love leaving me and not being my friend anymore and I said, wow, some year, huh? I know my friends don't deserve me. I will still save their asses, fix their beds, and do other shit repeatedly without their knowledge to make sure they are always alive and that their curses are removed. Nobody has to thank me for that magic. No one has to know that I am the one behind it, but I am the one there is. I am the bathroom guy. I am the reason these things are happening. I am the reason everyone is okay. And I am not afraid to say it on my YouTube channel. In real life, my friends and I are, we're going through a lot of bullshit. My ex-friends, I should say, because we're not talking. Um, I'm friends with someone in the friend group. Uh, fucking pink-haired dumbass. And uh, my friends, I, I keep track of them. I may not be their friend anymore. This is kind of creepy, actually. Uh, but I like to make sure that they are not getting hurt when they don't need to be hurt. And that their first attempt is not a first attempt. And this makes sense if you know me. If not, I'm coming across as incoherent, nonsensical, and crazy. I actually do have schizoaffective disorder. It's a misdiagnosis, but I totally have it. So if I ever am crazy, just be, oh, Adam's being schizophrenic again. Just be like, oh, Izumi's just being schizophrenic again. I actually temporarily changed my name to Seder Bloom. And I picked it out. I think it has issues with that. I do have issues with that name, but I, I am in love with the Greek god Dionysus. Oh, God. Uh, so yeah, I'm reciprocal. It's similar to reciprocal, but romantic. So every time someone initiates something with me, I fall in love with them. It's great. Today we will be learning a spell. The levitation charm is used to make objects. This is actually there is a real life counterpart to this spell that not many non witches know about. Uh, you do need honey for it. That is all I'm willing to tell you. Uh, it is a real spell that was worked into Harry Potter. That is a weird coincidence. I don't think J.K. Rowling's an actual witch. That would be weird. Uh, clickety click. Start three hours. Alrighty. There's a spell that can actually do this IRL. If you have the wands in real life are kind of what I would call a crutch. They can amplify your magic. They can give you a power boost, but if you do not use them properly, they will, you will become dependent upon the wand to do your magic. I can curse and manipulate things with the snap of my fingers. I can turn someone into an animal, but only with a wand. I have done this IRL. Do not come at me. So, uh, you know, it's it's fine. It's fun. It's fair. Uh, magic is fun. And there are actual spells, IRL, you can use to levitate them. The reason which most witches don't have these spells, the reason idiots on Tumblr I cannot use this as a magic. Don't have these spells. The reason most goetic occultists who work for Become a Living God don't have these spells is because they are sacred knowledge that is passed down in secret. Most people do not have these spells. I have these spells. Don't forget the nice movement we've had with a point and a flick. It is not that simple, IRL. <laughs> Anything can be magic if you're brave enough. 
take notes. Ah, oh, flip. I guess I gotta watch another ad. I will be right back. These for 20. Because uh, it's not letting me buy things right now, which is stupid. That's what you get for playing a gotcha game. And hopefully it ends here. Oh, fuck, it won't. That'll help me out later. Focus on the point and memorize it. And it exited me out. Flippity doo dah. Hopefully I don't have to do this all over again. No, I do. <laughs> other perspective. I would really love to see a Harry Potter book from the perspective of someone other than Harry. Even if it's third person limited or something. <sighs> Read. Out of energy. One point will charge every four minutes. Wait. All right, sorry about all that long wait. Let me make sure I'm still recording. I just, uh, I had to buy some in-game currency. As you can see now, it's doubled or whatever. I just had to buy some energy because this is being annoying. Uh, and yeah, it's fine. That was fun. This class is almost over. Uh, choose your award. Focus on pronunciations and charms. You have no room for error. Brilliant. So yeah, um, that's everything. Uh, who thinks they can demonstrate this stance? Adam Froster. And then right after this, I should probably let the video go and, uh, you know, get going after this class. Uh, I really, it took a lot longer than it looks to get that stuff sorted out. Um, so yeah, uh, that's almost today's Let's Play. We're just going to finish class and we'll see what happens. There are spells that can do this. I am not joshing you under any circumstances. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's fun. House cup. Click. We're in third. I gotta fix that. Slytherin's five ever. We are not going down in third. Please tell me it's not gonna crash. Please tell me you're not gonna crash. Please tell me you're not gonna crash because it's frozen. Uh, let's see. Adam is... Oh, I am on the leaderboard. <laughs> I don't know who Ben Taylor is, but cool. Rugby Lee, Helen Scott, Ben Taylor, Adam Froster. All right. Now let's collect. Just had to check on the house cup real quickly. Maybe it's not the actual leaderboard, maybe, because I'm too bad at this game. Well, um, uh, yeah, that's been today's Let's Play. Thank you all for um, visiting. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who that is, because I'm new to this. <laughs> 
I wonder if there's a charm on the Harry Potter books there. There is in the Percy Jackson. But that's another video for another day. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.